Hey everyone, welcome to the AP Training Center. It's Crystal and I'm here with one of my beautiful patients and today we are going to be doing her very first Kybella treatment. So she's a little nervous, but we're gonna walk her through it and cheer her on. So if you come on over, just sit up tall for me so I can just kind of like show. So what the area we're focusing on here is this submental. So put your chin down. So we're focusing on this submental pocket right here. This is the only area that Kybella is FDA approved. So I'm gonna show you kind of how I apply the grid, um, do my drawing, so I'm staying in the safe zone, marking up the patient, and then we will uh, draw up the Kybella and get started. So she, I just topically numbed her for 10 minutes. I just wiped that off. So now I'm just using HippaCleanse to really clean the area so she's nice and clean. Just kind of prepping the skin. And then I like to apply the grid first and then do my drawings after. And then I just kind of like dab with alcohol before I actually inject again. And I never go through my dots anyway. So um, I'm trying to stay as clean and sterile as possible. Okay, so I have, this is what the grid looks like. This comes with the uh, Kybella insert. So I'm gonna take the plastic off and then we're literally just gonna stick it like this underneath her chin and apply a wet paper towel and it typically goes on um, pretty easily all right so let's see here okay sorry this is cold then I just kind of hold it for like 10 to 15 seconds, give it a minute to kind of stick to the skin. Basically just like you're applying a temporary tattoo. And then we will do some drawings. Perfect. Okay, so now that that's there, I'm gonna kind of talk through the drawings we're gonna do. Can you hand me that as well? Thank you. So it, all, it usually comes with like a little paper insert ruler thing, but of course I lost that. So I'm just gonna use my little measuring thing to mark out my area that I'm gonna treat. So always feeling the inferior aspect of the mandible, okay? And I just kind of put my marking here, right on the edge. And then I just kind of do like centimeter to a centimeter and a half above. So I just kind of do like a little marking, okay? So this is gonna be as high up as I inject. And then I like to go from oral commissure kind of straight down. It's gonna be my lateral border. So I just kind of do this, nothing fancy. And then sit up tall, like put your, lift your head up. Yep, so now for the inferior aspect, I'm feeling for the hyoid bone. So you can start by feeling where her thyroid notch is. It's about right here. And then above that is gonna be kind of the top of her hyoid bone. So I just kind of put another little dot right there. Okay, you can lean back. So pretty much all the way to the bottom of where the grid is, is where we're gonna go. So this little square is where we're going to focus. So now what I'm gonna do is just count up my dots, see how many I have. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, so she has about like 22-ish, 23. So I'm probably gonna do I like to do it that divided by five, and that will tell me how many millimeters or milliliters she needs of Kybella. Um, each vial is two milliliters. So once I determine how many she'll need, I will pull it all up, and then I like to push about 0.2 in each injection site. So I'm gonna get all of that ready, and then we will be back for the procedure. So I figured out how many dots she has and how much we're gonna use. So we're actually using 4.6 milliliters of Kybella, which is a little over two vials. So every dot is going to be 0.2. Um, so I'm gonna start with 
the 0.6 syringe that I have only because I have a nurse with me who is training. So I'm going to show her a couple of the first injections and then I'm going to let her kind of do the rest. Um, so I'll kind of talk through it and then you may hear her kind of ask me some questions as well as we're going through. So you can kind of hear. I always tell the patient it's going to burn. So just kind of prepare for that. It's usually like a delayed onset of burn. Um, and I like to try to move as quickly as possible just to get it over with for the patient. She does have an ice pack on her leg right now so that when we're done, she can hurry up and apply ice because that definitely helps. But you ready? I'm ready. Okay. So I just like to pinch up the fat tissue like this. I'm going to go right in wherever my um, dot is. Again, I never go right through the dot. I just go right next to it. You can see I'm going in about like half of my needle, but you'll feel yourself kind of go right into that fat tissue. So those were the first three. I'm just going to have Elizabeth do the rest of them. So go ahead and pick up and you're going to push point two in each dot. So I did these first three injections here. So just continue with that one. So just pinch up, pinch up a little more than that. Perfect. Straight in. There you go, and then you're gonna to push to the point eight. Perfect, and just keep going. So I can tell by um, Allie's facial expression that she's feeling the burn a little bit, so that's completely normal. Typically goes away within a few minutes or so. Good. And then you can see like she's not pinching up as much of the fat tissue on that lateral aspect there because there's not as much. So just kind of keep that in mind with the depth of your needle. Good. Perfect. Um, in the center is usually where the heaviest portion is. So that's going to try to keep pinching the whole oh. time you're injecting. Perfect just to make sure it stays in that adipose tissue. You can just give it. All of them? Yeah, got Good. I think the one to the left, you just pushed a little less. Okay, cool. Next one. You okay? You hanging in there? Yes. <laughs> Feel the burn. Yeah. <laughs> Um, also, you can tell she's already getting some immediate swelling, which is actually a good thing. Yep, so you're going to start with your third dot right there. I always tell patients, I mean, they freak out about the swelling, which is um, understandable <laughs> because it is bullfrog swelling mm. for definitely usually like the first few days and then it kind of gets better, but it can last two to four weeks. So and you're supposed it's not to be dying. Be, Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there's no dot. That one like... doesn't stick very well. Good. Um, typically, the the bad swelling is in the first few days, and then it gradually gets better over the next weeks. But then it's time for right. appointment number two. Perfect. So we're planning on having to do three treatments on her. Um, after the third, we'll kind of reassess and see if we're wanting to do any more. Perfect. And I'm just using a um, 27 gauge needle. It's basically just a filler needle, half inch to inject. And then we draw up in one cc syringes just so we can see that full 0.2 that we're giving. We have one more syringe left. Keep breathing for me. I don't think I did this the way. Yeah, I don't think you did the lateral aspect over there. Push pretty heavy as long as well. So the bottom part, yeah, just squeeze up as much as you can because there's not going to be as much fat tissue. Perfect. 
but you feel yourself like you know you're in that mm -hmm. fat tissue you can kind of feel that so one more girlfriend Good job. Okay, let me just fight. I will get her cleaned up afterwards, but I'm just gonna let her kind of hold that ice there for a little bit to mm. help with some of that um, initial burning. You can see, one second, just take it down. You could see that she's pretty swollen, like you could feel, like see that there's fluid mm. sitting in there. So go ahead and hold your ice. So she will have that initial swelling. Um, it typically gets a little worse over the next few hours and today, and then it'll gradually start to get better. I always tell patients swelling is a good thing. Swelling means that it is working. So we want to see that swelling. And then we will schedule her out between four to six weeks um, for her second treatment. And we will reevaluate what she's looking like. And you do all the same steps. So next time she comes, she may not need that 4.6 milliliters. If we've shrunk some of that fat tissue that's there, she may need a little less. So we will reevaluate um, and start this process all over again next time to make sure we're giving her the adequate dose. So how was it? Was it worse than what you expected? Um, I think I expected actually worse than this. Okay, well that's <laughs> good. It's, it's just burning and it feels itchy, but it's yeah. not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So. Okay, cool. All right, yeah. well you did great. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so we will keep you posted on her results. And thanks for watching, everyone.